The worlds of literature and journalism are mourning their, the loss of writer Tom Wolfe this morning. The author, considered a magician with words, died of an infection Monday in a New York hospital. He was 88 years old. His first novel, The Bonfire of the Vanities, took his writing to a huge audience. Wolfe's satirical flair jumped off the pages as he shared captivating stories on topics from hippies to astronauts. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network CBSN looks at Wolf's rule-breaking style. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. His influence extended beyond his fellow writers. Astronaut Scott Kelly tweeted that as a teenager, he was inspired by one of Wolf's most famous books. In a statement, Wolf's publisher said the author was blazingly original with a voice that rang out from the page. To see Tom Wolf was to recognize his iconic white suit the uniform he wore for much of his professional life. To read Tom Wolfe was to absorb what author William F. Buckley once called probably the most skillful writer in America, a man who can do more things with words than anyone else. With his words, Wolfe helped define a style of writing called new journalism, blending the techniques of a novelist with those of a reporter, as he explained to Jeff Glor in 2016. This was exciting stuff. I assumed when I first I started working for newspapers, well, I'll be a novelist one day. But I lost total interest in being a novelist because this nonfiction was so exciting. He would regain that interest, and in 1987, his first novel, The Bonfire of the Vanities, a satirical takedown of the excesses of the 1980s, became a bestseller and was made into a movie. It was the second of his books to be adapted to the screen. Who was the best pilot I ever saw? Yeah. Well, uh, you're looking at him. The Right Stuff, detailing the early years of the U.S. space program, was also a bestseller and an Oscar-winning film. That view is tremendous. I did find as many astronauts as I, as I could and, and talk to them. And, uh, I did as much reporting as, as was possible. Cutting his teeth as a reporter, the native Virginian would write 17 books in all, including scathing critiques of art and architecture, as well as essay collections, works of journalism, and four novels, a collection of works as iconic as the man himself. Wolf's last work was The Kingdom of Speech in 2016, though he had no desire to slow down. He told CBS News in 2016 he had five more books planned. He leaves behind his wife of 40 years and their two adult children. And guys, I was just writing some of the phrases that have entered into our lexicon because yeah. of Tom Wolf pushing the envelope, mm -hmm. masters of the universe, social x-rays, the me decade, mm -hmm. all Tom Wolf. Radical chic. Radical I loved chic. what the writer Michael Lewis wrote. He, sa he said, what I hope people know about him is that he was a sweet and generous man, not just a great writer, but a great soul. He didn't just help me become a writer. He did it with pleasure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he made three-piece white suits look very cool. Literary yeah. flair and sartorial flair. Yes. Tell yes. Ryan Cadro that, our executive <laughs> producer. Three-piece suits are not a bad thing. <laughs> there you go. Message delivered. Right. Yes. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you.